It was great results, definitely. Um, that's that's what we wanted. We wanted five points and start off with a win at home. Um, obviously, there's there's a good bit to improve on. It was kind of scrappy at times, and uh, we had a meeting this morning looking at some of the things we could have done better. So there's a lot to work on, but and we'll need we'll need to be uh, much better, especially away in France this week. But yeah, obviously, really happy with the result. Any specifics on what the improvements have to be? Um, I suppose just we, we lost a, f a bit of contact, a few contact stuff, um, conceded a kind of try around the mall, um, pick and go try and a few few bits and pieces like that where maybe we were uh, slightly off physically maybe but we obviously did enough to, to get a win against a very a good good Treviso side and, and they are very physical we knew it would be so I think we'll, we'll have to be better again especially away in France. For yourself and a lot of the players coming back from the World Cup, how was the reintroduction? I know some had played the week before, but it was uh, one of these things you're trying to blend players back into the group. Yeah, I've I've absolutely loved being back. Being back in blue, it's great. Um, I've had two two full weeks, pretty much two full weeks training leading into the game, so uh, we kind of got it integrated quite well back into into the swing of things and uh, yeah it was, it was good fun to get back out in the RDS as well I think everyone seems to have settled in it's always it's always difficult um, trying to get players back in I remember it's my first my first year um, playing regularly enough with Leinster was after the last World Cup and I remember um, it was quite we didn't do too too well um, that year integrating players back in we, we didn't play play very well in Europe um, we Tough game, tough loss to Wasps that time. So it was good to, good to get get it a bit better this time. Final one for me. Did you get a chance to see the the Leon Hampton game, or what were your thoughts on it? I did. I didn't get to see much of it. No. no. Okay. Josh, you mentioned um, the integration of the players is different now compared to say four years ago. What what are the subtle differences that have made made it better this time round to integrate the work of players? Um, it's kind of hard for me to say really because I was. I was one of the players who was here in Leinster the whole time, so I don't know, not sure what the internationals did, but I suppose we were, uh, there was a lot of uh, younger players in the group then who wouldn't have had as much experience, I suppose, and um, I think coming into the environment and how well the team have started off, um, that the lads have been going really well here. Um, obviously, I think it's five, six wins now, and uh, obviously some some performances we could do better, some good performances, but we've got the win in all our games so far. So um, I think we've we've got a good bit of momentum, and it's been it's been good. We've had we've kind of reviewed uh, reviewed how everyone's got on over the summer and everything, and we're back we're back in back in and settled into back into Leinster here now. How how difficult is it to to get all those players who've got it? Got that World Cup disappointment, you know. Is do you have an initial meeting and say, right, lads, let's talk about this, and then just park it and let's move on? Um, yeah, we all had uh, individual meetings, just um, either in group in one or twos or threes, um, just talking over over how we how we find the World Cup, what we learned, what we uh, felt we could have done better individually or or as a team, and try and learn um, try and learn what we can from. I mean, obviously, uh, if there's something we found worked really well, we kind of bring it back here, or something we felt we could have done better, um, that kind of thing. But for me, anyway, I was just really, really excited to get like the moment the the game finished or the World Cup finished for for us. I was just really keen to get back playing again. I think that's always the way. You don't want to finish. You don't want to have to wait around too much after losing a game. So I was just really keen keen to get back in, and it's been exciting to get back underway on the weekend. And Josh, is is the reintegration? And that a little bit easier because some of the young guys are doing so well. Even guys like in your position, like Scott Penny, like you know, does it just make just give you that extra bit of motivation when you kind of come back into the into the camp? Yeah, well, um, I've been watching obviously the games, the Leinster games, and the back row have been been incredible. Um, obviously, Scott just said uh, Will Connors uh, last week, the week before last, uh, was unbelievable. Um, he had Kalen's obviously playing real max, like the, all the every back row who's got a chance has played really really well. So it means. I kind of knew coming back into training, I, I'd had to train, be training really well. There was no, there was no room for for not training well because it just mean I wouldn't be picked. So, um, yeah, I mean it pushes everyone on when when the com competition is that high. Yeah, I know Robin McBride has only been in a week or so, but uh, what kind of impact has he had so far? Yeah, he's been really good. Yeah, um, we've uh, we've kind of 
changed a few couple of things in the scrum and he's given a few pointers of of passed on some of his knowledge to us and um yeah he's been been really good so far done a bit with our line out as well so yeah it's it's been good Leo spoke um after the match of the weekend about you know the importance of not letting the the opening weekend win and, and not sort of getting carried away with that given that you know last year round two you, you suffered that defeat how are you sort of looking at Leon and, and, and having to go to France this weekend and making sure that what happened last year doesn't repeat itself yeah I think it, it's something we've talked a lot about as mentioned this morning again uh, the last year uh, we had a brilliant win um, very very confident um, maybe too confident after last year and then maybe we didn't uh, we probably didn't realise how we knew it would be a tough game against Toulouse, but they pulled out the best performance we'd seen we'd seen from them in a few years. So um, yeah, we know we know away in France are always really really tough games. I mean, from my own experience, I know they're uh, any French team at home they're they're always really tough, very physical. So yeah, we know it's going to be a really really uh, tough game. They're they're six six home wins. Um, Six home wins so far, eight from nine in the top fourteen, and they're top of the table. So I think that's kind of um, that says it all, really. So yeah, it's it's going to be a, a tough one this weekend, but I think we're we're well set, and we'll we'll definitely have learned from last year. And you spoke of some of the the younger players that are trying to make their breakthrough here. Um, you know, Ronan Kelleher is is another one of them, and although you would have been away for an awful lot of the start of the season, his scoring stats for his position are are unbelievable so far. What's what's he like to train with? Him? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He uh, he works hard. He's um, he's he had a bit of injury trouble the last uh, couple of years. Um, just watched him in the academy, but he was always he's always been one of the guys. Um, when you go into the gym in the morning, he's in there doing his extras, or he's working hard and um, working on his throwing, uh, practicing his tackling, whatever it is. He's one of those guys. who's always always doing his extras, so um, he deserves every bit of every try he gets. I guess he's he's earned them. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's incredible and he's putting in some brilliant performances, um, some a lot of tries obviously, and he's putting in some massive hits as well. So he's uh, yeah, he's very very impressive watching.